when the supreme personality of godhead became the son of nand maharaj and yashoda they maintained continuous unanswering unswerving devotional love in parental affection isko bhar kar ki baat chal raha hai kya unswerving devotional love in parental affection <coughs> क्या है वो इस प्रतिष्ठान जो कहा गया था बादशाह ने रास है बादशाह रास को ये सर्विंग नहीं कर रहा है कृष्ण सर्व करेंगे कृष्ण का प्रेम सर्व करेगा और ये जो है उसको सर्विस नहीं कर रहा है कृष्ण को तो बच्चे की तरह प्यार कर रहे हैं भगवान के आश्चर्य नहीं देख रहे हैं उस माधुरी को प्रकाशित कर जो माता पिता का पुत्र के बातर भी होता Here the parents, Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda, they are not. They are not for to serve Krishna, but the Krishna himself came, appeared. as their son you see to serve them they can they can they don't want to talk about them actually here with the love as much my mind said that prabhu pat tried to show the hidden things vatsalya and madhurya together vatsalya when as a parents they watch their baby krishna and madhurya is evoking while becoming a ordinary parent when becoming ordinary parents they started kissing and talking with krishna this is very beautiful thing over here it's a message for all the devotees here in this verse the more thing is coming and in their association all the other inhabitants of vrindavan the gopas and gopis develop the culture of krishna bhakti actually as much i can understand from what i want to say uh, in this was the translation through this translation is coming in my mind that uh, with the love of nanda maharaj and yadu yashoda it became a kind of contamination for all the inhabitants of vrindavan this contamination loving contamination that is helping to produce madhurya 
and the world here came, he developed the culture of Krishna Bhakti. As Gurudev many times said that Krishna, who is Krishna? Raso Ve Sa. Krishna Bhakti means Rasa. Prema. If there is no Rasa and no Prema, then no Krishna. That's why here the role of hidden potency of Sri Krishna is required. That we call Aladne Shakti. So in the absence of Aladne Shakti, it is not possible that Krishna alone will be able who will success to produce rasa. Definitely, or you say, we can say in other words, actually, alone Krishna is not with full of rasa. There is emptiness. Then his mood is total different in opulence like Narayan. Vishnu Bhakti. Chaturbhuj Sarup. Sleeping in Shiv Shagar. That's it. By Kunta. Yeah, exactly. Gurudev is saying this. That this is the difference between Jashoda Nandan and Devakinanda. As much I can understand that Raso Vaisa became after the ultimate source of Rasa joined to Sri Krishna. In the absence of this Rasa, I think he used to call by this name after joining this Rasa. It was a simple coward boy, actually. Not knowing. Whole day was wandering here and there. With dryness. When the ocean of rasa, the one drop of ocean of rasa just sprinkled, came somehow to him. Then Brahma, even Brahma, the Sasa saying him Brahma here. Then the transformation of Brahma started. It was dry, empty, same dry like the desert. So when Aladni Sakti joins Sri Krishna, then the developing the developing of this culture of Rasa Bhakti, we can say Prema Bhakti or the Krishna Bhakti starts. Alone, water is there and water has no color and no taste. But the little sugar adding little different flavor that makes the water completely turn into juice, then it becomes juice. And we don't say that simply water. Then it becomes rasa. Here in Purport, Prabhupada is saying, although when the Supreme Personality of Godhead is told the butter. Curd and milk of the neighboring Gopas and Gopis 
this teasing superficially seems troublesome in fact it was an exchange of affection in the ecstasy of devotional service actually butter melts with little heat so here yeah, prabhu is trying to say to make our heart also like butter and this is possible with our continuous association with same kind of hearted people the more the gopas and gopis exchange feeling with the lord no no he don't go he will go india in again the one word came exchange feeling so very time guru they are saying if you don't have feeling you are not able to understand the same thing in braja is braja basis go pass and go is are doing here it seems like that is stealing yeah but the he is stealing the heart kind of butter the more their devotional service increase more feelings are there this is the meaning to develop your feelings if we are not able to develop our feelings deeply then this exchange is not possible he also like the same association god is saying that i like same association but but first you prove that you are in same kind of association with the same kind of feeling then i will steal yours but also sometimes we may superficially see that a devotee is in difficulty because of being engaged in devotional service but the fact is different when a devotee suffers for krishna that suffering is transcendental enjoyment so we know it too we can worry for small things in our life it is very clear it is prabhupada is saying that for devotee it seems like that but it is not like that why really a devotee is always in ecstasy with his purity from outside definitely it seems for other those who are not devotees and devotees 
how this person is doing a lot but he is suffering it's not kind of suffering that a non devotee is watching here prabhupad gave name to this the transcendental enjoyment that is highest unless one becomes a devotee you say this cannot be understood or rata when krishna exhibited his childhood past times not only did nanda maharaj and yashoda increase their devotional affection but those in their association also increased a devotional service it is very clear here if someone wants to increase the feeling has to be associated with the people of the same kind of feeling is not the through the nanda maharaj and mother yashoda this message also coming to us that how association plays a very important role yeah. in our spiritual life in other words persons who follow the activities of vrindavan will also develop devotional service in the highest perfection here one word is there activities of vrindavan कृष्ण ब्रह्म आदेश सत्यम कर्तव्य जीव सहरामो उसंस चक्रे तेषां प्रीतिं सुलीलया thus the supreme personality krishna along with balram lived in prajapuni vrindavan just to substantiate the benediction of brahm by exhibiting different past times in his childhood he increased the transcendental pleasure of nanda and other inhabitants of vrindavan this word in purport came activities of vrindavan what does it mean the one word came here here vrindavan with everyone with the friends with the mother mother will develop devotional service 
activities of Vrindavan is a loving experience. Mm. Uh, Mahaprabhu Krishna, he left his Narayan position to, to become like a dormant. This is his activity. He wants to be make happy to everyone in Vrindavan because they love him unconditionally. There is no condition in that. Mother love is, father love is also unconditional. So this is the developed devotional service in the highest perfection. No, mostly people. I say no. So all these uh, activities, I asked the question that uh, the world one came, activities of Vrindavan. So I the activities of Vrindavan are that how the relation is connected and how much nectar is there in this type of uh, all these relationship motherly friendly motherly as a lover as a young boy considering a young boy all these kind of relation. This is the meaning of activities of Vrindavan. In Vrindavan also these, these things are happening. The mood of Vrindavan is very much connected with relations. So all relations easily, the development of all kind of relations are very easy here in Vrindavan. So being in this kind of uh, relation mood, to do, trying to develop our feelings more and more, using this in our devotional servings to achieve this highest perfection, to become a good devotee. Thus, the Supreme Personality, Krishna, along with Balarama, lived in Prasabhumi, Vrindavan, just to substantiate the benediction of Brahma by exhibiting different pastimes in his childhood. He increased the transcendental pleasure of Nanda and other inhabitants of Vrindavan. So the meaning of Sri Krishna to be here to develop and to just to give the place when our mood is full of this loving feeling then it is possible that we can give someone pleasure. And the original nature of humankind that his behavior should be pleaseful for others. This is the message for us. That our behavior should be with full of feelings about others also. Our behavior should be with, with full of affection with others, not only with our family members. In Vrindavan, if we are living in Vrindavan, or we are living anywhere as a devotee, this becomes our duty 
to please others. That's why in one poetry he said, Vaishnav Jan to tene kahiye je peer parai jane re. Who can understand the feeling? Who can share the pain of others? Who can always ready to make someone pains less and less? This is the nature of humankind as a Vaishnava. So Krishna is giving one message here. That if I can do, my people with whom I am connected, related, who, who they consider as they are related, with loving affection. It should be their duty to give pleasure to others. At the same level, they are enjoying the different pleasure. This is the end of chapter 8. Now, chapter 9 is going to start. Before the verses, Prabhupada quoted something over here. While Mother Yashoda was allowing Krishna to drink her breast milk, she was forced to stop because she saw the milk pan boiling over on the oven. The maid servants being engaged in other business. She stopped allowing Krishna to drink from her breast and immediately attend to the overflowing milk man. Krishna became very angry. because of his mother's behavior and devised a means of breaking the pots of yogurt also. because he created this disturbance Mother Yashoda decided to bind him. This, these incidents are described in this chapter. One day, the maid servants, being engaged in other work, Mother Yashoda was turning the yogurt into butter herself and in the meantime Krishna came and requested her to allow him to suck her best milk of course, Mother Yashoda immediately allowed him to do so, but then she saw that the hot milk on the oven was boiling over 
and therefore she immediately stopped allowing Krishna to drink the milk of her breast and went to stop the milk on the oven from overflowing. The so message is there in this. Ekada Griada Sisho Yashodan and the Gahini, Ravantar Nukta Sundi Roman Sundi, Yani Yani Higitani, Kalbal Zalanija, the Tilmir Mantane Kale. Smranti Tanya Gata. Smranti tan, Tanya Gaita. Sri Sukha Uvaja. Shudeva Swami is saying, one day, when Mother Yashoda saw that all the maid servants were engaged in other household affairs. She personally began to churn the yogurt. While churning, she remembered the childish activities of Krishna. And in her own way, she composed songs and enjoyed singing to herself about all those activities. Bopard. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur Quoting from the Vaishnava Tosani of Sri Dasanathan Goswami says that the incident of Krishna's breaking the pot of yogurt and being bound by Mother Yashoda took place on the Deepavali the day of Deepa Malika. Even today in India, this festival is generally celebrated very gorgeously in the month, in the month of Kartik by fireworks and lights. It is to be understood that among all the cows of Nanda Maharaj, several of Mother Yashoda's cows ate only grasses so flavorful that the grasses would automatically flavor the milk. Mother Yashoda wanted to collect the milk from these cows, make it into yogurt and turn it into butter personally. Since she thought that this child Krishna was going to the houses of neighborhood Gopas and Gopis to steal butter because he did not like the milk. Yeah. 
and yogurt ordinarily prepared. While churning the butter, Mother Yashoda was singing about the childhood activities of Krishna. It was formerly a custom that if one wanted to remember something constantly, he would transform it into the poetry or have this done by a professional poet. It appears that Mother Yashoda did not want to forget Krishna's activities at any time. Therefore, she poeticized all of the Krishna's childhood activities, such as the killing of Putana, Agasura, Sakatasura, and Tranavrata. And while joining the butter, she sang about these activities in poetical form. This should be the practice of persons eager to remain Krishna conscious 24 hours a day. This incident shows how Krishna conscious mother Yashoda was to stay in Krishna consciousness, we should follow such persons. That is Raghavan Bhakti. When we follow the devotee of close to Krishna, that's the Raghavan They are Raghatmika, and we follow them is Raghavan So, Buddha is saying that. His mother is Sudas and all his Brajvasi Gop and Gopis and Gopas. They are, they are in Ragatmika Bhakti. They are they are with full of this Raga Bhakti. So these all activities. Mother Ishoda was also trying to tie. Krishna, but then only the two fingers, the rope was short. Why? Because greed and love. And the other incident happened that Mother Yashoda wanted to tie Krishna with a rope. And all the time, even she was adjoining the another rope. She that, think that she will bind it. Uh, she was thinking that she can do it. And there are only two things, two fingers short all the time. Greed and love. Love. So two things were missing. Develop this uh, feeling in the spiritual world. We also need very important greed and love. That's the Raga Nuga. This is the real meaning of Raga Nuga Bhakti. Greed and love together. 
If we have, we are definitely following the path, following the path of Mother Yashoda and Nand Maharaj. Gope and Gopis. Your father meant to eat for Krishna consciousness. He wants to teach Raga Mega Bhakti. This is a thing. Uh, yeah, very clear. He wants uh, to teach Raga Mega Bhakti. Yeah. Yeah. And also saying about personal effort. We try to do things by our with our power, with our energy. That is not actually possible. राजा भी आए हैं राजा राजा भी राजा भी आए हैं राजा भी नहीं आए नहीं राजा भी नहीं आए राजा भी
How you make different but Raganuga and Trupanuga? Raganuga is Ragatmija. Ragatmija. The Prajvasis are Ragatmija. Poor Mother Jasuda and the play friends, all they are Ragatmija. And we follow, Anuga means following. That to follow is Raganuga. This is one thing. And Rupa Nuga is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you want to see Mahaprabhu, then you have to be Rupa Nuga. And to see Rupa Nuga, Unna Tujan Rasa, is means that you have to follow Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari. Then you can understand that. So you have to come in Manjari Bhav to understand that what is the Bhav Laswati. We are not interested with Krishna, we are only interested with Radhika. It's gone, Prabhupada cannot say this, because they are Krishna devotees, he want to make first Krishna devotee, then Radha devotee. So he prepared for Krishna devotion. When the Krishna is fixed, then Radha Rani is coming. Because Radha is the energy of Krishna. Radha is the energy of Krishna. Krishna cannot understand without his energy himself. First Radha and then Rupa. Huh? First Radha and then Rupa Nuga. Radha Nuga. When we are following Radha Rani one pointed, then we can go to Rupa Nuga. Rupa Nuga means Rupa Goswami follow. And Rupa Manjali, how follow? That is Bhav Laswati. No Saki Bhav, no Go Manjali. They don't accept it. They are practicing only for Radhika, not even Krishna. So what you do about Krishna, it was all after you were the mm -hmm. That time you don't know. Which is not? This year. Shortly, Prabhupada said everything, but there was no detailed time. Could not ready to for listening also to that from Prabhupada. Bring the prasadam. And this. Jai Shri Radhe 